So each character class within Diablo 4 has their very own uniques and we know that there are certain enemy types that have increased chances of dropping the uniques. Today we check them out for the sorcerer, what uniques they have, the enemies which have increased chances of dropping them and in my opinion the best dungeons you should be farming for specific pieces. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. So when it comes to farming specific dungeons to try and get these uniques to drop, any dungeon is theoretically fine, but if you can roll a nightmare dungeon with that magic find modifier on, that's a way better option due to dropping more loot for you. Also, if you're looking for uniques for your certain class and it ain't a sorcerer, all videos will be linked down below. Okay, so we have to keep in mind as well that any jewellery, so rings and amulets, do not have any specific monster type which has increased drop chances. So the Esadora's Overflowing Cameo does not have currently any increased drop chances from any specific enemy type. Okay, so let's get into it. The Esu's Heirloom. This has increased drop chances from that drowned enemy type. So the specific dungeons I recommend you farming for these. Uh, we have the Haunted Refuge, the Dead Man's Dredge, the Putrid Aquifier and the Vault of the Forsaken. These four dungeons will give you multiple options at this enemy type. So we'll get farming guys. Next up people we have the Flame Scar. This has increased drop chances from ghosts and vampires. Okay, so those ghost dungeons I'd look out for, Earthen Wounds, the Onyx Hold, Sunken Ruins and the Lost Archives. These are four great dungeons, probably Onyx Hold is my favourite here, but either or guys, do what you gotta do. Vampire dungeons, we have Zenith, we have Core Dragon Barracks and we have the Heathen's Keep. Again, three great, great dungeons, plenty of vampires within these, so do what you gotta do people. Ok so next up people we have the gloves of the illuminator, this has increased drop chances from spider enemies. Spider dungeons we have the blind burrows, the gurun canals, the whispering pines and the champions demise. All great great dungeons, plenty of spiders within these so pick one, nightmare dungeon it, hopefully you get that magic fire modifier on it and I'll good luck to you in trying to get this one. Next up guys we have the ice heart braze. This has increased drop chances from them drowned enemy types. So dungeons here you want to look for the Haunted Refuge, the Dead Man's Dredge, the Putrid Aquifier and the Vault of the Forsaken. Plenty of drowned enemies within these dungeons people. Ok so next up guys we have the Raiment of the Infinite. This has increased drop chances from beasts and spiders. So beast dungeons we have Blind Burrows, Alderwood, Moorwood, Alder's Cave and the Haunted Refuge. Four great great dungeons there. Spider Dungeons, we have the Blind Burrows, the Gurun Canals, the Whispering Pines and the Champion's Demise. So it makes sense guys that you'd farm the Blind Burrows because this has both beasts and spiders within. So if you can land this with that Nightmare version with that Magic Fire modifier on, this would be your best bet. Next up guys, we have the Staff of the Endless Rage. This has increased drop chances from Fallen and Goatman enemy types. So Fallen Dungeons we have Demon's Wake, Conclave and the Ancient's Lament. Goatman Dungeons we have the Champion's Demise, Mercy's Reach, Shifter Ruins and the Horthrost Demise. Again some great dungeons for you to farm there. Lastly guys we have the Staff of the Lamb Esson. This has an increased drop chance from dropping from Fallen and Goatman enemies yet again. So Fallen Dungeons, Demon's Wake, Conclave and Ancient's Lament and Goatman Dungeons we have Champion's Demise, Mercy's Reach, Shifter Ruins and the Horthrost Demise. Those are what I'd recommend to you farming to try and get this item. But there we have it guys, those are the source of uniques, the enemy types which will give you increased drop chances for specific pieces and said dungeons to farm to increase the likelihood that you'll get these items to drop for you. So best of luck in your farming within Diablo 4. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I'll see you on that next one.